वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन पेपर दैट इज एक्चुअली वी हैव अपलोडेड एज सैम्पल क्वेश्चन पेपर सो आई होप देर मस्ट बी क्वेश्चन पेपर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू इफ इट इज नॉट डेयर देन आई एम गोइंग टू सजेस्ट यू फर्स्ट सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन पेपर इट शुड बी देर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू एंड देन वी आर गोइंग टू चेक दिस एनालिसिस और रादर आई शुड से आंसर एंड एनालिसिस सो फ्रॉम द गिवन सेट ऑफ स्टेटमेंट्स हाउ मेनी स्टेटमेंट्स आर ट्रू सो फोर स्टेटमेंट्स आर गिवन नाउ आई एम गोइंग इन एनालिसिस फॉर्म and so we are going to discuss first answer so mahapan was a shock ruler so yes uh, this is true statement kanishka accepted mahayana buddhism so kanishka is kushan ruler yuchi ruler and he accepted buddhism uh, after calling that buddhist council and then uh, because of his influence the mahayanism was accepted in buddhism and then he accepted mahayana buddhism so statement is true capital of gautami putra satkarni was at patali putra so gautami putra satkarni was satwahan ruler and his capital was at pratishthan that is in modern day uh, that is called as paithan in uh, chhatrapati sambhaji nagar district of maharashtra so you will find the statement number 3 is incorrect uh, bimbi sar was father of ajata shatru from haryanka dynasty so this is two statement you are aware that in history in the known written history the ajata shatru is the first ruler and it is written that he killed his father uh, named as uh, bimbi sar that is uh, by starvation so this is the thing so out of four statement three statements are true one is false so obviously answer goes c Uh, now second uh, uh, this question uh, that is belonging to physics fundamental unit question so uh, from the given set of statement how many statements are true so first statement si unit of temperature is degree celsius apparently it is true but we are aware that we accepted kelvin as si unit no doubt uh, we can convert celsius into kelvin just we have to add a through uh, 273 degree celsius so this is uh, degree celsius wrong it must be kelvin so first statement is wrong si unit of volume is liter yeah it is true that volume uh, unit is liter but not si definition of liter is volume occupied by 1 kg water at its maximum density that means at 4 degree celsius that is definition of liter whereas uh, unit of volume because we have unit of length as meter so unit of volume is meter cube decimeter cube centimeter cube all these units are there so uh, si unit of volume is liter is again false statement si unit of energy is joule yes this is true statement si unit of force is newton yeah this is also true statement so here two statements are true two statements are false and therefore answer is b from again uh, same question uh, from the given set anyway every question is same how many statements are true so we are going to analyze directly statements salary is the highest peak in maharashtra so uh, salary is the highest fort in maharashtra you are aware that in maharashtra many hill forts are there out of that the saller is highest or tallest fort in maharashtra it is second highest peak in maharashtra highest peak is kalsubai so first statement is false saputara is the hill station in satpura mountain ranges no it is hill station but it is in sayadri mountain ranges to the north part of sayadri uh, this is there uh, nowadays it is in gujarat state mahabaleshwar is the hill station in sayadri mountain range yeah this is true statement it is uh, in maharashtra sayadri mountain range and fourth statement origin of river savitri is from mahabaleshwar yes uh, mahabaleshwar is a place where origin of five rivers are there at a time so out of that one is savitri river so 
out of that you can check out first and second statements are false whereas third and fourth both statements are true as a result we can go by option b fourth question a uh, first statement total four floating ribs are present in human body yes two pairs of floating ribs are there that means total four floating ribs are there that is to make our thoracic cage elastic now a uh, total four zygomatic bones are present in human body so this bone what you are observing uh, that is called a cheek bone so that is actually called as zygomatic bone so as we have two cheeks so there must be uh, two zygomatic bones present in human body so statement here is false total only four cervical vertebrae are present in human body cervix means neck region so in human neck seven vertebrae are present so here we have to say it is seven cervical vertebrae are present but here it is mentioned as four so statement is false uh, so we start from all we discuss that uh, first statement is true second is false third is false now fourth statement uh, total two ulna bones present in human body yeah uh, ulna that is first is radius and second is ulna that is the four limb bones present in four limb or hand and then as two hands are there for normal man we have to consider two ulna bones are there in human body so for normal man it is obviously two ulna bone so two statements are true two statements are false again answer is b don't get confused if constant consistently you are getting answer as b nothing to worry okay now fifth statement uh, topic of capricorn is not crossed during sea journey from mumbai to eden so you must aware where is eden so it is in uh, arabian peninsula this part is there you are aware there is gulf of eden and after crossing gulf of eden we are entering in the red sea uh, when we are traveling from mumbai so you are aware that mumbai is to the north of equator eden is also to the north of equator whereas tropic of capricorn is to the south of equator and therefore as we are not crossing out in normal journey if you want to go some advanced journey then all right but for normal journey uh, this is not uh, there so tropic of capricorn is not crossed so statement is true tropic of capricorn is crossed in the journey from mumbai to tasmania Uh, you have to search on the map where is tasmania so if you check australia then to the uh, south east of australia you will get island that is tasmania so obviously uh, tropic of capricorn is passing out through australia and therefore you have to cross that then only you can reach to tasmania and therefore second statement is also true third statement tropic of capricorn is passing through canada so mainland canada not yet because canada is to the uh, north part uh, particularly if i am saying uh, that arctic circle is passing out through canada then statement is true whereas tropic of capricorn passing out through chile that is south america and therefore uh, this third statement is false norway to france journey is not possible without crossing the tropic of capricorn now if you have to uh, travel reverse way then it is true but if you want to go straight journey that is from norway through british channel if you are going through france then obviously there is no question of crossing of tropic of capricorn and so uh, third and fourth both statements are false so first statement and two sir second statement is true again you will get answer as b Sixth question: How many statements are true with respect to human anthropology? Uh, that is, Mano Vamsa Shastra. So, accordingly, so fossils or bones of Homo sapiens sapiens are found in Maharashtra. Obviously, uh, modern man 
it's carried, uh, considered as Homo sapiens sapiens. And as Muslim population is there, then uh, Jew population is there, and some of the caste in Hinduism also, they are also carrying out funeral. That is, uh, they are burying out their bodies. And so, uh, obviously, fossil as well as bones of Homo sapiens sapiens are found in Maharashtra. So, first statement is true. Ramapitekas is found in Sri Lanka. Ramapitekas is supposed to be, according to one theory, Ramapitekas is supposed to be first uh, primate. Primate means what? Uh, monkey or ape to man evolution. The stages are there, they are called as uh, primates. So, according to one theory, Ramabitekas uh, is first uh, fossil that is found of primate. It is found in Shivalik mountain ranges and uh, the person who discovered that uh, fossil, he was aware of story of Ramayana and so he given the name as Ramapithekas that is uh, ape of uh, Ram like that name is given. So here the Ramapithekas is found in Sri Lanka. It is obviously yet wrong statement. May be possible uh, some of the fossil may get discovered after a few years, then may be right. But right now, Ramapitekas, whatever the fossil, the name Ramapitekas given is to that fossil that is found in Shivalik mountain range that is in Himalayan ranges. Now, uh, first statement is true, second is false. Human skeletons found in IVC were not of Homo erectus. Now Homo erectus means a man who was able to stand in erect posture. If you check, uh, apes, they are able to walk on two legs, that is called as bipedal mode of locomotion. They are walking on two legs, but uh, they are not able to stand in erect posture. You can check out on YouTube the video, walking video of gorilla, walking video of orangutan, walking video of chimpanzee, they are having little bit bent. That is because of their uh, joint, that is a femoral bone to pelvic girdle. That joint is there because of that. So uh, IVC, that is Indus Valley Civilization, it was obviously Homo erectus onwards category. So that is mentioned they were not of Homo erectus. So they are not of Homo erectus. This statement is wrong. Chimpanzee is considered as Homo erectus ape. So Homo erectus is not a. They are apes or Homo erectus and therefore fourth statement is also false. So third and fourth statement is false. First and second statement, uh, sorry, first statement is only correct statement. Uh, second statement is false. Third statement is uh, false and fourth statement is also false. So answer is only one. So A. Uh, Now we are going to discuss next question that is seventh question. How many statements are true with respect to last electron of sodium atom? Uh, last electron of sodium atom. So you must aware of sodium uh, electronic configuration of sodium. It is 1H2. You can check out. Uh, or write out 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. So as 3s1 is the last electron, it's n, that is principal quantum number is equal to 3. So the statement is true. Value of L, that is in bracket intentionally written as small l, that is uh, we are calling as azimuthal quantum number, that is equal to p. So it is not equal to p. It is 0. As it is S, it must be 0. So, second statement is false. Third statement, value of M is 0. Yeah. Because if uh, value of S is 0, uh, sorry, that uh, L is 0, then obviously value of M is also 0. And value of S is plus 1 or minus 1. It must be plus half and minus half. Then statement is right. So, here, uh, first statement and third statement is true. So again we have to give answer as two statements are true. 
Now, at question from the given set of statements, how many statements are true? Nitrogen atom is consisting, uh, sorry, nitrogen atom is not consisting of any neutron. It's false. Only hydrogen, H11, this atom is not having any neutron. Rest of all atoms are having at least one neutron. Okay. So, nitrogen atomic number 7, mass number 14. So, it is having 7 neutrons. So, since this statement is false. Zero protons are present in hydrogen atom. Yeah, just now uh, we discussed that hydrogen atom is having zero neutrons. Zero protons is not an element because first element is hydrogen having one proton at least. So this statement is also false. Third, helium atom is having two protons. Yeah, atomic number of helium is two. What is atomic number is number of protons only. So third statement is true. Benzene molecule consisting of six carbon atoms but zero protons. It is false because it contains six carbon atom. Each carbon atom is having six protons. So 36 protons are there because of carbon atom and it is having six hydrogen atom. So six protons are there from hydrogen atom. So this statement is also false. So you will get only here. A third statement is true. That means again answer is A. That is one is right statement. Now second last question. Uh, Yavanapriya is considered as black paper. Yeah, this statement is true. Particularly uh, after the Greeks, Romans started uh, visiting India for trade through sea route. In Roman Empire, they were having status symbol as consumption of black paper. And therefore, black paper that was exported to very great extent, particularly by Satwahana dynasty. They carried out international trade at that time and they exported such a large amount of uh, black paper. And these uh, Romans were called as harsh speaking Yavanas, Kathor Bhashi Yavan. So, this is also called as Yavanapriya. So, first statement is true. Indica is written by Megasthenes. Yes. After defeat of a Greek invader, that is Seleucus, or we are calling him as Seleucus Nicator, that is uh, he defeated. Then his daughter, uh, named as Helena, married with Chandragupta Maurya, the great emperor of India, and then uh, he kept his uh, ambassador. In the court of Megas, uh, in the court of Chandragupta Maurya, his name is Megasthenes. He wrote this famous book that is called as Indica. So, first statement is true. Second statement is true. Christianity entered in India during rule of Ajata Shatru of Magadh. Just impossible because Ajata Shatru was ruling somewhere in the BC, that is before Christ, and so there is no question that Christianity should enter at time of Ajata Shatru. But uh, this great emperor Ajata Shatru was contemporary of the great Indian personality that is Lord Buddha. So at the most you can say here the Buddhism uh, was there at that time. Then Nanegat inscriptions are in Urdu language. No, Nanegat inscriptions are either we can consider that as Sanskrit or very close to old Maharashtri language. They were in the script that is called as Brahmi script. So, uh, and they are describing the success of great Satwahan ruler named as Gautami Putra Satkarni, or often he is called as Shali Vahana. So, where he is referred as Tri Samudra Toya Pita Vahana. So, uh, total something. Yavana Shaka Pallava Nisudana Tri Samudra Toya Pita Vahana. So this is not Urdu. And uh, Urdu was not there at that time. So this is the wrong. So first and second statements are true. Third and fourth are wrong. So again answer is B. And now last question. Uh, Alexander's army crossed Strait of Gibraltar to enter Asia. So no, Strait of Gibraltar is there between Spain or if you consider Gibraltar a separate nation, then Gibraltar and Africa, that is Morocco of Africa. There is Strait of Gibraltar. So Alexander crossed Strait of 
uh, actually it is straight but we are calling it as sea of marmara so that he crossed that is between black sea and mediterranean sea so uh, alexander uh, first statement is false alexander's army never reached till mumbai yes not at all and still he is calling himself as world conqueror so this is the highest uh, we can say controversy about alexander if that person is not reaching to mumbai how we can able to i am from mumbai how we can able to accept him as world conqueror alexander's army never reached till chennai yeah chennai was not at all there in the map of alexander if you look map of alexander then uh, indian peninsula is not shown then so from gujarat onwards there is a straight line till bengal and somewhere at bengal his map was ending out so he is not reaching to chennai yeah and lastly alexander's army crossed indus river yeah this is true uh, he was uh, crossed uh, able to cross indus he was able to cross jhelum river but he was not able to cross bias river okay so uh, second statement is true then third statement is true and fourth statement is true as a result uh, three statements are true answer is c so this is from my end i have explained the paper if you find any mistake or you are able to show me some then obviously you have to report in the uh, comment box at the uh, bottom of this video there is comment box you can go through that and uh, obvious the last important thing we are starting out our test series from 1st march 2023 so you will get idea how sample paper is there and how we are providing answers thanks for observing this